Hey everybody, here we are today. We're at uh, Thunder Cove, uh, Prince Edward Island. Uh, as you see behind me, there is a ton of cars here. We're actually here, it's a uh, Tuesday. Uh, bad weather, and there's that many tourists here today. Including us, we're also tourists, but what they ask is that people park only on one side of the road. That's why the locals here, they got these no parking signs, because apparently in the summertime on a weekend, it gets really, really busy here. So uh, the reason that there's so many tourists here is because of these rock formations. Now, these rock formations, uh, the most popular, most famous one is called the Teapot Rock. And we're gonna go there and we're gonna show you guys what that looks like. Uh, but to me, the very interesting thing is the age of the rocks here. They're from the Permian period and they're made of a red sandstone. Now, the Permian period goes back to 299 million years to 251 million years ago. So to give you guys an idea of what kind of animals lived at that time, it was before the dinosaurs and we had these mammal-like reptiles. My favorite being the Dimetrodon. Uh, what's cool about the Dimetrodon is that it has this huge sail on its back. And the other really interesting thing is here, uh, kind of close by, they've actually found fossilized footprints from these animals. And also they found a jawbone just down the coast a little ways. Uh, so today, that's what I'm kind of hoping to see. I want to see this uh, teapot rock as well as hopefully find some footprints or if we find a fossil, that would be amazing. So let's go. The other thing they warn people about, uh, there's a, I see a little bit of a rope there people are using to get down to the beach. Uh, people will actually come here and climb down the cliffs, which they, uh, suggest you do not do. Uh, I know that there's been some people that have gone to the hospital because they've gotten hurt falling down the sides here. And there we go, we made it. Down to the beach. This is some of the sandstone that I was talking about, this red sandstone. Uh, what's interesting about this area of Prince Edward Island compared to the rest of Prince Edward Island is that you got this rock. Uh, most of the other parts of the island, it seems to be a lot more just uh, sand and you don't get uh, these structures. So it's hard to imagine now, but back when this sandstone layer was being deposited, uh, Prince Edward Island was down at around the same latitude as Texas and also Germany and we were very, very close to the equator. Uh, so that's why these Dimetrodon fossils, which they have found here, they've also found in Oklahoma, Texas, and in Germany. So it's hard to imagine. And this is even before uh, the formation of the Atlantic Ocean. So we're going back, way further back than the dinosaurs. And I believe the Dimetrodon actually went extinct 40 million years before the first dinosaurs. The biggest thing that makes these cliffs dangerous is the fact that you have to walk way down this beach from where the parking lot is to actually go and see the teapot rock and people they want an easy way out so they'll just drive as close as possible and then they'll try to descend these cliffs and you can see these cliffs some of them are sheer vertical and a lot of it crumbles away so if you're going to come here uh, be respectful of the locals. Make sure you park only on one side of the road and be careful. Do not try to climb down these cliffs, especially if you're younger. Uh, the walk really is not that bad. This right here is really neat too. These are uh, little caves that form from the, uh, the erosion of the water. So yeah, you can see the different layering in the sandstone. People, oh, this is, I love it when people do this because you know they're not from here. Uh, if you're gonna have a fire underneath a sandstone ledge, uh, the fire, the heat's gonna rise, it's gonna crack that, it's then gonna collapse down on you and kill you, basically. So, you know, whoever set that there, they weren't, uh, weren't too bright. But it's neat how it's really uh, dug itself in there, uh, the water eroding the rock. So now I'm gonna go do something that uh, I wouldn't recommend. It might be stupid, but we got this little cave here. It's pretty deep. Let's go see what's in there. Oh.
Oh. It seems pretty secure all the way until it's not secure. And then you're in for it. Yeah, this is really far in. The Simon. Not a very high ceiling. Oh. But you see here, we're, uh, we're at the beach today. It's a uh, low tide. So if you came here during, while well, the tide was rising, or at a high tide, you wouldn't be able to walk around this bend, I would say. The water would be all the way up here. Yeah, you can see all this. That just shows you how high up the water is going to get. It's got seaweed on it. So this right here is the first of the rock formations. And this one here is the one that they call the uh, teapot rock. And in New Brunswick, we would call these flower pot rocks. They're very similar. They're made by the erosion of the water on the sandstone. So eventually that will collapse. Eventually this one here may become a little bit smaller uh, before also collapsing. And I'm sure that, you know, for the millennia that these uh, shores have been being eroded, uh, we've had dozens and dozens of these uh, teapot rocks. But again, very interesting to think that this sandstone could hold uh, ancient footprints as well. Uh, you know, it's from down in the equators when it formed 299 million years ago. Just to give you guys a bit of scale here, this is how large this rock is. And they don't know how long this rock's going to stay uh, upright. Eventually it will succumb to erosion and collapse, but not today. So we got here just in time. Uh, we've been able to see it. And that's why all the uh, tourists and stuff like to come down here to this area is to see these rock formations and this one here in particular. So that's it for us here at the uh, Teapot Rock here at uh, Thunder Cove, uh, Prince Edward Island. Uh, it started to rain a little bit, so uh, most of the tourists, they've all left this area. So I was able to get those cool uh, drone shots there at the end. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and this is definitely a place to come visit. But again, uh, be careful, watch out for those cliffs, and don't tread on private property. Thanks for watching. Yeah, the water goes out a lot further than you'd think. So we're here at low tide, definitely the time to walk out there. If you're at high tide, you're probably gonna get a little bit wet.